Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do Lobo issue number 404 by Keith Gill and Alan Grant and Simon Bisley. Yes, this is the last issue. Well, that was the last, yeah, the last issue of this volume one series from the 1990s to be, to be precise. Love the color with all the skeletons and here sitting Lobo with a cigar and, you know, like he's on the beach, but then we're full of skeletons. <laughs> So yeah, he's on, uh, I believe, Revel 7. I believe that's the plan. He has some R&R, &R, right? And um, yeah, and he's a little bit bored, right? Because, uh, well, he has to uh, gate, well, not gatekeep, but let's say babysit this woman that he needs to deliver to ducks. And uh, so he decides to uh, to have a party. So he's, he's putting her away. And um, so he says um, to this clown yo you wear you wear the hell out of phones party 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 oh, lobby 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 yeah i'm feeling better already right so yeah this is you know what to expect from a lobo comic so but you know docs doesn't have a good time because he wants to um you know trap or frame lobo but it it's backfired on him and uh he's a little bit lost now right he says um well my plan should have been flawless. Hell, it was flawless. Well, almost. Face it, Brill. If it was so good, then why are five groups of madmen converging on Revel 7 to kill an even madder man? Damn you, psychotic soul Lobo, if you got one. What the hell am I going to do? Do I have any choice except to directly involve Legion? Damn, 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 damn! Control? This is Commander Docs packs me through the duty room. Priority. But then he's getting interrupted by this, I don't know, robot ape and he says hey um you need to see this so they uh patch him through this uh, this broadcast so it's over the whole planet and it's lobo and he says enjoy your good vacations good because now is the time for me to start enjoying mine the rules are simple so listen up in exactly five hours i'll start killing anyone still on this mud ball <laughs> i love his face and um so hopper chumps and, um, oh, you got only five. Oops, that's four hours and 59 minutes to go. All these watches. <laughs> so, Frill here. Ah, oh, bad, sir. Shut up, you moron. What the hell are you sitting here for? Dispatch a battalion of shock troops now. I love these facial expressions. And then the one switch from a calm dogs to a very aggravating, annoying, and angry dogs. And, um... Incredible, the nerve of that psycho. He doesn't even care how this stupid stun reflects on Legion. To him, it's all a big joke, that poor planet. Uh, and then we go to uh, oop, ads. So yeah, this is happening. Everybody wants to get off this planet. And this is classic Bisley, you know, drawing a lot of people in panic and crazy and doing weird stuff. And they say, well, I'm the, I'm, get, let me through, I'm the pilot. No, I am the pilot, no me. This looks fantastic, right? So there's a lot of chaos, a lot of people, you know, dying, fires breaking out, etc. So it's pure chaos. But actually Lobo lied. He said, as if I could really hang out around here to off all these poses when I gave ducks my word to deliver the witch. Ah, frag. Frag them if they can't take a joke. And uh, so she's saying something back, saying, hey, you, in the closet, keep it down. Right. So meanwhile, we have all these people that want to go to Revel 7 to or kill uh, Lobo or apprehend Lobo or to imprison Lobo. That's probably the same as apprehend. Um, kill the woman, you know, the teacher. And uh, they have their, all their, their motivations. So if you don't want to want to know what you, I'm talking about or what this comic is talking about, check out my other reviews and subscribe to my channel and all that jazz. Uh, so yeah, but then it seems that they all come together real quick and it means that they are on a collision course with each other accidentally. So they cannot stop in time. So this is happening and this Lobo fanboy club says, uh, we're too close, we never stop in time. It's the free refrag for us. Yo bros, let's do it for the... Oh. <laughs> I love it. 
I really do. And Lobo, <laughs> he's now singing a song. He's, he has a great time. And <laughs> I love it with the hook and then napalm. All this great stuff that Bisley is doing in the background. It's just freaking awesome. So he's drinking a lot. This reveling such a bad place after all. Maybe I should step my stay. Of course, I do have a prisoner I promise to deliver. Ah, who cares about her? Or frail green boy ducks for that matter. Not moi, that's for freaking sure. I could break a promise this one time, could I? I, I, damn! Yo, yeah, well, Lobo is a man of his word. He cannot break it, right? Um, oops, ads. So, yeah, then this um, group of old people are coming. They are after the, the, the teacher. And they, um, says, good to suffering, hairnets, Mabel. It looks like a war zone here. So they bring up the screen and he says, I don't believe it. Peep shows, my word, I feel faint, disgusting, sick, unnatural. So they pause the, the how do you say, <laughs> the quest for uh, for revenge and they are starting to shoot on the spaceship, you know, because they are need to learn some morals, these people that are on the spaceship. <laughs> it looks great. It looks fantastic. Um, so yeah, other people are coming in, and these um, I don't know, stormtroopers for the Pan Galactic Demolition Dance Company are coming. Musical director played the last waltz. The upstage your upstage your lobo must die. What in the name of the great Sadomanski? It's a mass exodus. So yeah, they are coming in while the every, everyone is coming out, and that results into this massive explosion. So everybody's dying. And Lobo is, uh, yeah, leaving because, yeah, he needs to deliver this, this woman, right? Frito kiss. But I just love a good light show. <laughs> so he is bringing her to, uh, to Doc's. So he, uh, you know, he comes in. And, uh, sir, sir, what is it now? Lobo, sir, he's back. And a prisoner? Um, no, don't tell me. I'll find out soon enough. Cassidy is in the 10 millions, half a planet destroyed, and there's nothing I can pin on him other than a threat, which, knowing Lobo, he called it a little joke. Well, at least I can rest assured, Trib is alive, and nothing else, Lobo's words is his bonds. Come on, Frill, you can do it. Deep breath, and... Yo, boss man, what's the good word? And, uh... I'm doing this deliberately. Dig it, one prisoner alive, escorted and delivered as promised. What, what happened to her legs? Ah, you know all these old coots, always forgetting things. Well, no praise for a job well done. Like, she's alive, if not exactly kicking. Don't touch me, you miscreant. All right, all right, you did a good job. Thanks, for you never say that. And he breaks a neck. <laughs> Class dismissed, teach. I love this facial expression. It looks really awesome. So, he says, delivered the life in your custody and it was the deal. Didn't say nothing about after you had the custody deal. Have a nice day. Ha ha ha! This is the end of the book. Chief Dux? No, not now. Please, please, not now. <laughs> Dux said, please? Nah. <laughs> this was great. It was fantastic. I love this book. So, yeah, I'm glad I have this. Um, and I read it now for the third time in my whole, yeah, since I got them. So, yeah, that's, that's I don't know, man. So, um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this series. Like I said before, people, these creators, Alan Grant, Keith Giffen, and even Simon Bisley, they know how to work with this character. They know exactly what they're doing. The humor works, the action works, the, the mayhem works because of, you know, Bisley and the humor that, you know, comes with it. It's just a fantastic book, right? Guys, let me know what you think about it. See you next time. Bye-bye.